first I want to put on a little bit of glazing gel with a tiny bit of purple. Let's see, here's what I'm doing. I'm just adding a little bit of the glazing gel to this purpley color. So I'm very, very light finish. I'm going to go right in around the eyes. Well, first he looks like he's a little bit black and blue. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to just kind of wipe away some of it with a dry brush. So you're just going to get more of a hint to this color. I've just continued the process a bit and I just I'm using a smaller brush now too and I go in where the eyes are I trace every little crease and then kind of wipe it off with my fingers so the purple just gets left in in the wrinkles and so I do the ears I did the neck under the chin under the nose to the side of the nose to the corners of the mouth corners of the eyes all these areas I even did a little bit on the top of his head in case he's bald. So you can do that, wipe away the excess, and then repeat with this as many layers as you need. All right, now he's been cured. I've got the paint cured with a heat gun. I'm gonna just do another layer in some other areas, like around his eyes here. I'm just going to brush away any of the excess, wipe it away, and it will just leave it in the creases there for you. So you can touch it up with a little bit more. And then you can go through with some red. All right, and after you've done that, you can just add a little bit of pink, a little bit of reddish, kind of brighten up his cheeks. We'll do that on his lips too. And I like to put a little bit around the eyes as well here, on the cheeks, on the tip of the nose, on the forehead, and on the chin. All right, then with a red, I used, I'm just gonna use this little red right here, that's basically just a Genesis red. And I go through on the nose, a little around the eyes, on the cheeks for sure, through the lips, and then the ears as well, and then a little bit on the forehead and the top of his head, just like that. Now we can heat set and add more colors if we want or call it good. All right, the last thing I did is I took some of the burnt umber, just a brown color, and I kind of traced the upper lids a bit here and here. And then I kind of filled in some of these wrinkles just a little bit by tracing right along the wrinkle and then just wiping it away with my finger so I can kind of emphasize those a little bit more. Thank you. 